my leaf blower is able to blow one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten foot sections of four inch PVC pipe into this bin over here. And it's been doing a great job. It's even been blowing it further enough from the end of this four inch PVC pipe to hit the wall over there. You can see a little bit of it hitting the wall over there, taking some of the paint off. But I have, oh, I guess about, uh, about 120 bushels in here so far. I have 185 bushels total to get in here. So a little bit more to do. I'm going to add a few more boards on to keep the corn from blowing out. So I have just a little bit of it coming out and falling on the floor. So when I put those boards on, it'll help keep it in. Looks like I've got a nice pile of corn here. I've added a little bit of space for it to come, for it to be blown in right over here as these two boards right here. And I moved my blower up so it's kind of like an angle, a little bit higher than I might like. I've got it at an angle, that should be just fine blowing it in. Well, let's climb on up the ladder and see how much corn is left in the gravity wagon. I wind up with a lot of this fine stuff, kind of like hulls and parts of the cob and broken up pieces of corn. Well, the goats really don't like it that much, but the sheep, I have seven sheep, they seem to like it just fine. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna scoop up this fine stuff and I'm gonna put it in these buckets and feed it to the sheep. There's no need to waste good corn and this fine ground up corn 
when the sheep will eat it. And another thing, it sort of clogs up the corn blower. After a while the corn doesn't seem to flow in there pretty pretty smoothly when I have a lot of this fine stuff in there. It's constantly blowing the fine stuff out and stopping the corn from going back in. Well that's not perfect but it's good enough and I think you'll notice once the corn starts coming from the gravity wagon back into the bin it'll go a lot faster. Well let's start up the corn blower and Doesn't look like it's taking the kids very long to find out that everything's being cleaned up over there and come on over now and start eating a little bit of the grain that spilled out. The last time I used this, I had some problems with it spilling soybeans. And I made a few improvements. I tucked some Gorilla Tape right here in a crack. And I had another problem with this chute falling off of this bin so if you can see I put a board down there so that if it did fall off and it looks like it did it landed on top of that nice new pine board and I put uh, some girl tape in that crack right there so it wouldn't come out one of that little gap right there and just to go back over the important things to remember when you're using this is this fine material seems to block up this hole right here and you need to keep that clear so that you can have a nice flow of corn going through there and another thing to remember is this Gorilla Tape right here you need to check it and make sure it doesn't have any air leaks in it on, and to make sure that there's no corn or soybeans going through it. One of the reasons I use Gorilla Tape, as you can see right here, I have an angle that really isn't uh, a standard angle. You can see that uh, this right here is kind of crooked and the tape 
will make that okay, even though it's not a really connected angle very well. It uh, keeps it from uh, clogging up. It's very good to use tape instead of uh, trying to do it all with uh, couplings. And uh, right angles. A little bit of tape and it sticks together. And the last thing you'd ever want to happen <laughs> would be for the uh, pipes to come loose and you've got to shovel up bushel after bushel of corn or soybeans that um, Gorilla Tape works well. Just uh, check it every once in a while to make sure it still stays where it's supposed to be on the pipe. And I didn't try to go too high on this piece right here leading up to the bend. I find that if you try to go too high it makes pushing the corn and soybeans a little bit harder. So I try to keep it short and not at too much of an angle. And I could adjust that board right here, right next to the four inch PVC. So I could move it from one side to another if I needed to keep the corn from filling up too much in one place or another. An important thing to remember is to get rid of all the grain and the fine stuff that comes with the grain out of the gravity wagon. Well, I've been going at it for a day and a half now, getting the 185 pounds of 185 bushels of corn blown into the barn. I think I'm going to take off a little bit for this rest of the afternoon. Just sit down and relax a little bit. 